In today's video, I'm opening up a $750 vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! mystery box. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and today we have a mystery box that I spent $750 on. A guy hit me up and he saw one of my mystery box videos. He's like, hey, do you want like an actually good mystery box? I'm like, yeah, of course I do. So he's like, okay, I'm gonna send you one. So that was a few months ago. I think he said like, he got like caught up in some stuff, but he sent me a message a couple weeks ago. He's like, hey, I sent you the mystery box. So I have it here. He says it's really good. He says I'm not gonna be disappointed. So that means that you guys shouldn't be disappointed either. So let's get into it. But first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. We have Skull Archfiend of Light the creator and ancient gear castle so like the video be subscribed turn on notifications and let me know what you think about this mystery box was it worth 750 we're gonna have a little counter up on like the value of the stuff we have a note inside hi phil enjoy the sealed product mystery box hopefully there was no damage after the trip across the atlantic good luck with the pools and thanks for all the great content jackson instagram jackson masquerade or McQuaid, sorry, design. The sticker packs are for the giveaway. So we have a giveaway. We're going to be adding to the three cards we just did. We have some Yu-Gi-Oh sticker packs, which are pretty, pretty cool. Inside, you get like different stickers, I believe. I think I've seen these before. So uh, yeah, just enter the giveaway. These will be included as well. First item we have is, is this like a custom pack or something? It has a blue eyes white dragon. Is this one of those stickers? This is probably one of those stickers. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, I need some scissors. Oh, wait, no, we can rip it here. Nice. Okay, this, so this is somewhat like a mystery pack. I don't know what's actually inside. I'm guessing some singles. All right, first thing we have. <laughs> pale Pharaoh's Chaos. All right, all right. The Pale Beast is at it again. Dude, I I got to hit the gym, man. You know what I'm saying? I got to get a little bit of workout in. All right, let's see what we got here. In our Pale Pharaoh's Chaos, we have Oni Tank Ruxin 34. Twin-Headed Fire Dragon. Oh, we got a Ruxin special. Pequeno Moth with the European Pequeno Moth. We got we got to save that guy, Jinzo. We got the Millennium Shield Super Rare. All right, all right. Ugly art, very nice. We have the Black Wing Thane, the Steel Chain. Battle Scarred. Where is the Medolce Chocolates? Ah, oh, the Medolce Chocolates. Chica Chocolates. There's one more card. Oh, and there he is, the Pale Beast at it again. Okay, what's his flavor text? We never read it. With skin tinged a bluish white, this strange creature is a fearsome sight to behold. I am indeed a fearsome sight to behold. Let, let's just say that. <laughs> That's a great pack. All my classic cards. I love that. I don't know if we're gonna be opening everything in this video because I bet there's a lot of stuff. But we're gonna we're gonna pull out what we have. Inside of that, we had a secret edition and a flames of destruction special edition. Okay. All right. We're just gonna start opening. I don't know if we're gonna open everything, but we're gonna open a lot of it. Let's do movie pack. What's our promo again in these special editions? These European special editions are cool. They're like much smaller. I like it. I like it's much more efficient. You know, there's not it's not so wide and much extra space being used up what can we pull out of here first edition movie pack secret edition my favorite version by the way i like the gold version as well but i think this is the best movie pack uh deep eyes white dragon we are indeed recording we gotta double check that pandemic dragon century soldier we've got the barry magician girl okay not bad either a couple of magician girls those are always pretty solid in value so far okay we have palladium oracle mahad that's a very good pull actually uh the metamorph fortress okay dimension garden that was a lot of trap cards in a row four straight trap cards all right yeah i think we're gonna do value for what we pull because uh if we could do value based on like the sealed stuff but we're probably gonna open all of it anyway uh it's very hard to make your money back opening so that doesn't mean it's a bad mystery box if we don't pull it back or pull it out but uh there's a very good pull right there we just want to see like how much we can get back on the 750 if we open everything all right flames of destruction uh, it's pretty weird that all of those are first edition like the all the different versions of that that set um it's pretty weird the uh, malin glacia okay we have the oh called by the grave good start that's a very good common should all construct we got the crystal keeper can we get the infinite impermanence or the ghost bell let's go monster reborn reborn a funny card world legacy world lance and a phosphorage the elements of lord okay nothing crazy there the link streamer two packs left of flames of destruction what can we pull the box from jackson so thanks again jackson for uh sending us this hopefully it's going to be pretty i hope we pull some really awesome stuff that'll be great uh seconds light and we have a trick star bell madonna that's an ultra rare okay that is not guaranteed we're taking that solid special edition so far we're doing pretty well that mvp one was actually really good the movie pack pulled a lot of the really good cards we didn't pull alternative that was like the only one and dark magician girl gookie octa stretch the mallow the defrag 
Vindred Anima and a wind up Zen maintenance. Very, very nice. Okay. And uh, also we have probably hit 150,000 at this point. So if the video has not come out, it's being worked on by my editor. It's a three hour video. The footage is three hours. So I told him just get it done as quickly as you can, but like it's, you know, it's three hours. So it's going to take a while. I had to edit it last year. It took me like a week. So it took forever. All right. Next up, we have some, what appears to be booster packs. Let's get through this real quick. We have force of the breaker unlimited. Very nice. We got a first edition legacy. Oh, it's second one and then an invasion of chaos. So as you can see, this mystery box is not messing around. This isn't like a Walmart mystery box. We have classic packs inside. So let's just go ahead and do it. Let's open this Force of the Breaker. If you missed the other day, we actually pulled an insane card out of Force of the Breaker. So hopefully we can continue that right here and pull something really good. I think four from the back should do it. We have the other world, the A zone. Okay, volcanic recharge. Volcanic scatter shot. We got the crystal right Geki, the Maku master of barriers, the crystal blessing, hard cell and zombie, not goblin. Gravity Crush Dragon and Lucky Iron Axe. All right, not so lucky today. I like how it's called Lucky Iron Axe. And then you pull it and you're like, I'm not feeling very lucky now. You know what I'm saying? LOD Legacy of Darkness. One, two, three, four. Also, by the way, we do have a Dark Crisis box break up. We've sold like two thirds of the packs. The rest need to be sold out. Then we're going to do a live stream. Uh, and I have a few other box breaks coming up. So if you are a member, keep an eye out for those. You'll have first access. If you're not a member, you can become one by clicking the join button down below. Then you can get first access to the box breaks and discounts and stuff like that. So uh, Dragon's Gunfire, we have a bunch of them lined up right now. Wing beat a giant dragon, dragon manipulator, life absorbing machine, burst breath, frontier wiseman, possessed dark soul, super rejuvenation, and a magic reflector. All right, the magic has been reflected. It's also a magic card, which is pretty cool. So LOD first edition uh, commons right there. Very cool. Let's go with the invasion of chaos. I wonder if this is from those force of the breaker blisters because we'll be able to tell if it's the end pack. Let's go. It is. It is indeed. So it looks like you got the force of the breaker and the invasion of chaos from the same place. We have a Chaos Sorcerer, beautiful. Gora Turtle Evolutions. By the way, if you're looking for EN comments, I have a few available, so hit me up if you want those. Uh, Jaden Sick Whistle, we got a Sacred Crane. Uh, Primal Seed, very nice. Uh, Grand Maju de Isa. Tower of Bebel. Fenrir, can we get a date? Oh no, I thought there was two more. No, we got a Curse of Darkness. My nose got itchy right there. Guys, I'm telling you, I think I'm allergic to Yu-Gi-Oh cards, opening Yu-Gi-Oh cards, which is like kind of funny because that's what we do. <laughs> but like literally, like when I was doing the every pack opening the whole time, like and when I do live streams, I just start getting like, like it's like a dust thing. I don't know if I'm like inhaling dust or something from the packs being opened. I don't know. Am I allergic to old Yu-Gi-Oh packs? It's kind of funny. My kryptonite is, is you know, what we do. The emergency provisions, illusory gentlemen. A legendary ocean, Robo Yaru, super rejuvenation. That was good for a while. Bad reaction to Smochi, Robo Lady. Is it up next or is it the next one? Serpentine Princess and Royal Oppression. Actually, I think this is a pretty good one. I think this is actually pretty nice. So Royal Oppression, very nice pull. We didn't get any foils, but maybe in the next one. All right, so we have the what appears to be more stickers, which is pretty. So I guess that's what you guys can win. These actually look really nice. Then we got a oh, look at this. Is this a custom blister? Oh my gosh, Ruxin Special Edition with three Portuguese Metal Raiders in the bouquet. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I don't really want to open this. I think we're going to keep this sealed. I want this in my collection. This is so cool. The back, we could like draw something on there, like a draw up a Kenya moth. That would actually be pretty cool. And speaking of Portuguese Metal Raiders, I'm going to be doing a battle with Heart of the Pack soon with a Portuguese Metal Raiders booster box. So keep an eye out for that. He's sending me one. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So we're going to keep this one sealed. Jackson, this is like the coolest thing I've ever seen. We definitely have to keep this sealed even though it's not really technically sealed since you sealed it but still cool <laughs> okay glass special edition super sick this is one of my favorite things to open let's see if we can pull a magic formula can you imagine if we pulled a magic formula here it has never happened but one day i believe that it will happen i believe that we're gonna pull it at some point there's a lot of things that we still need to pull and glass uh, magic formula is one of them so we have a vortex trooper very cool now let's start let's start with the dcr because dcr is not as crazy i think this is an en potential pack it usually says it on it though so this is not yes yeah, sometimes they're in sometimes they're not let's see if we can get a skill drain something crazy like that precious cards from beyond goblin of greed archfiend's oath vile pawn archfiend dark scorpion Mene the thorn arsenal robber dark scorpion gorg the strong fairy of the spring and then an infer queen and for infernal queen archfiend there we go two glass packs to go we still have a lot of stuff in there like there is a bunch of stuff to open coming up so i'm pretty excited for that Let's do three just so we don't spoil the magic formula, which is totally going to happen. We have the Stealthroid, Perry, Hoplimus, Gladiator Beast Divakari, the Swift Strike Armor, Chamberlain of the Sixth Samurai, Fog Control, 
Coliseum Cage of the Gladiator Beast is actually a pretty good card. I think it's usually worth a couple bucks. We will take that. But it is not the Magic Formula or the Necro Face that we want to pull. We have never pulled either of those. I would like to start now. So I think it was four actually there. Cloudian Nimbusman. Release from Stone. Cloudian Turbulence. Gladiator's Return. Disarm. Foolish Revival. Cloudian Poison Cloud. Gladiator Beast Battle Gladius. And a Gladiator Beast Spartacus. This is what I always forget about. Gladiator Beast Spartacus. Nothing too crazy in that one. So let's see what's next. All right. Now we have what seems to be an entire box of something. A Judgment of the Light. Wait, why is this so thick? Normally a box would be more like this size. It almost seems like a 36 pack box, but it's not. Very interesting. Judgment of the Light. I actually might keep this for my collection. So we're going to put this in at the value of the seal. I think it's around 150 bucks. So we're going to put this in because I want to keep this bad boy because Judgment of the Light, you know, Chicolate, so all that stuff. We're going to keep that sealed. Next up, we have a sealed tin. This is the, what is this guy called from Duelist Revolution? Whatever the name is. The, uh, I forgot. Oh, there it is. Dragon. It's from the very top. Dragon Knight Draco Quest. I somehow missed that. It's literally written across the tin. So we're going to open this bad boy up. We're not keeping this thing sealed. Pretty epic stuff inside of here. Let's just see what we can get out of a 2000. I think it's a 2010 tin. Okay, so we have the promo pack. This is probably worth like 10 bucks, something like that. So we can add that to the value. Very nice. Then we have five packs. We have the Angel Prophecy. We have the Absolute Power Force and then two Shining Darkness. Can we pull ourselves some ghosties? Let's do it. Shining Darkness European pack. Very cool. Let's see if we can get a ghost rare. What is he called? The the Black Wing Dragon? Yeah, the Black Wing Dragon. We've never pulled him, I don't think. So let's start now. One, two, three. Let's just do three on this one because it's five Ds. He usually is three, I think. Card Breaker. Dragon Laser Blossom Bombardment. The Gen X Undyne. Morphtronic Scramble. Charger Synchron. Dawn of the Herald. Cherry and Mado. And we have a Synchro Magnet. So nothing too crazy in that guy. Synchro Magnet. Let's go to the next one. Can we pull the Black Winged Dragon? I want to pull it. I want to do it. Let's do it. I, I take ulti too. That'd be pretty cool. Memory Crush King. I always thought this was a cool artwork. It's like a brain with a horn. Very weird. Quacky Mirror Initialize. The Assault Spirits. Infernity Randomizer. Watt Cube. Battle Wing Strafe. Gen X Searcher and a Key Mouse. All right, Key Mouse. Our luck so far has not been great in terms of like actually pulling foils. We need to pull some. Absolute Power Force. Let's go. I've never pulled this uh, Ghost Rare either, so I, I take this one as well. I have the only one I've actually pulled out of here is Ancient Prophecy of these packs. So let's see. We have the Power Invader, Inverse Universe, Nature's Reflection, Rocket Pilder, Magical Golem, Gundari, the Dijin, Curse Enchanter of Rituals. Okay, and. XX Saber Hyundle. Wait, I didn't do it right. Okay, the break draw. Okay, the uh, X Saber Hun Hyundle. This is actually a pretty good card. Very solid. It's a when I saw Synchro, I was like, oh baby, here it comes. Very solid pull. Our first foil of the opening, actually, which we haven't opened a ton of packs yet, but we will take that. A Synchro Ultra Rare. We are in for that. Let's see if we can finish it off with a Majestic Red Dragon. Let's go. We have Temple of the Sun, Rose Fairy, Bicular, Alien Brain, the Lair Wire, Magical Golem. Unicycular. XX Saber Garson. Is there three cards left or one? Forgotten Temple of the Deep. All right, nothing in that one. But still, we got an Ultra Rare in this tent. I'm happy with that. Ancient Prophecy. I'd be okay with ending with a Ghost or Ancient Fairy Dragon. Even though we pulled it before, I don't care. I love it. <laughs> the last time we pulled it for EX Gamer after a long, long search, which is a really, really cool video. But uh, let's just go ahead and do it for myself now. You know what I'm saying? I've never actually pulled it for myself, I don't think. Slip of Fortune. I think the other one was for someone else, too. Shark Cruiser at one with the sword. Armored Axe on Kicker. XX Saber Ragagura. Fossil Dig. Brain Research Lab, Psychic Emperor, and a White Potent. All right, we got a White Potent at it again. Okay, nothing too insane, but we did get an X-Saber Hunley. It's pretty good. All right, we now have a Legendary Collection. So he knows we love Legendary Collections. So this is actually pretty fun. Game Ward Edition. Let's see what we can pull out of here. I think there's five packs inside, so let's go ahead and get it open. Oh, this one actually, they theirs has the Game Ward on top, which is interesting. We never usually even look at it because we've seen it so many times. We have a sealed pack. This is probably about $10 value, so we can add that to the value. Then we have five sealed packs, Legendary Collection 2. Usually pretty good value opening these, so hopefully it'll add to our total. Let's go. Five packs, Legendary Collection 2. What can we pull? I'm hoping for some good stuff. We have Cyclone Blade, Six Samurai Iru, Mariner, Hero Spirit, Hero Mask, Elemental Hero, Dark Bright. Boom! Let's go. Super rare and... Proto Cyber Dragon, that's just a ultra. Okay, what's the secret rare? 
Ooh, a Cyber in Dragon. Ult, or not ultimate. I wish it was an ultimate. Secret Rare. That's awesome. And then an Over Destiny. That's actually probably a pretty valuable one right there. Very nice Cyber in Dragon. That's a great start to this Legendary Collection 2 Game Board Edition. All right. That's got to be a $10 card, right? That thing's so beautiful. Okay, Chamberlain of the Six Samurai. We get the Elements of Hero Prisma. Gateway of the Six. Yaichi, Return of the Six Samurai. Hero Ring. Very cool looking card, but not really worth anything. Ultra Rare coming up. The Cyber Phoenix, also pretty cool. And then Secret Rare, we have... Elemental Hero Neos Alias, another cool one because this can be used in like Edison and stuff in some decks, which is pretty nice. And then Crystal Beacon. I also like how, if you've noticed, you don't have to do a pack trick with these because the rare is the last card. So there's no commons after that. Very nice. I'm, li I'm liking these uh, these Europeans. Uh, European packs seem to like, they make it where you don't have to do a pack trick. It's really cool. Problem is if the back card gets damaged, like a valuable card, it kind of sucks. All right, D Fortune, we got the Return of the Six Samurai, Clay Charge, Elemental Hero Avian, Fusion Recovery, Destiny Hero Dogma, very nice. Ultra, Rainbow Dragon. All right, we're getting all the big monsters and we have a Dandelion, also a pretty decent one for like Edison, a very nice copy. Look at that secret. For some reason, the Euro secret's really hidden for some reason Then the Glow Neos. I think Glow Neos might actually be some little bit of money. So that is a very solid, um, you know, special edition so far, legendary collection, whatever it's called. Two packs to go. We are looking good. That was a great pack. Change of Hero Reflector Ray. Let's go. Captain Tenacious. Let me know in the comments your favorite item that we get from this uh, mystery box. So far, I'm really liking it. Hero Heart, D Spirit. He knows what I like to open, clearly. Crystal Beast, Topaz, Tiger, The Woodsman. All right, wait. Dude, is there something damaged on the back of that card? I thought I felt like it was like a corner come off. All right, Woodsman. Dark Fusion. Pretty cool. With uh, Avian and Bercentrix on there. That's pretty cool. And... Skyscraper 2 Hero City. Okay, first dud of a secret rare, but it's it's still pretty cool. I mean, it's probably worth about a dollar or two. Final pack of this legendary collection. I think we still have a couple things left in the mystery box. Not really sure. First card is Skyscraper. Zanji. Instant Neo Space. Hero Kit. DD Survivor. Elemental Hero Wild Cyclone. We have Cyber Dragons and Ultra. I thought it was a secret rare. I guess the alt art's a secret rare. That's pretty cool, though. And... Oh, a Bersinitrix Alt Art. Very solid special edition that we got today. Very good one. Like, almost all the secrets except one were really, really good. All right, never mind. That was it. There was a box, but it was just, like, filling up space. So, that was everything. So, that was a pretty awesome mystery box. We got a really nice variety of stuff. We got some old school stuff, some newer stuff, some legendary collection stuff. I enjoyed it. Let me know if you think it was worth $750. We're going to see how much we pulled right here. I know it was not even close to $750 because we opened the sealed product. But with the sealed product value, it's probably a lot better. And if you guys enjoyed this kind of video make sure to subscribe to the channel because we'll be doing more stuff like this and if you really enjoyed it let me know that you want to see more shout out to choice 333 nightshade gaming yt hayden jameson squirtle hoppus flexi boy dizzy ernesto deanda puffins of doom tcg trusted cards jt cho tomato juice daxter tone Fo show and then a tie show christopher ward ian musa john nolan junior barding mike nance mimic gecko seth fisher stanley thomas mcclain and tone z thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys next time peace